That's my girl. I love paying it up. Yes. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with a new video. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I had a good weekend. You know, I relaxed and I realized how hot my apartment is going to get without my um, air conditioner. <laughs> and mind you, I bought a brand new air conditioner, but um, before he moved, yeah, and somebody got it, and um, his sister. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta get it back. <laughs> no, but my friend is. Um, That's what I'm gonna say to her next time I see her. Um, why you still got Kevin here for this night? I can see her now. What? Uh, Kevin said I can have that. No, he didn't. No, I didn't. Because he's hot. <laughs> you need to take that down there because he don't have no car. No, but my, um, my friend got an extra air conditioner. So I'll, I hopefully will have one by Wednesday. Uh, um, a new air conditioner in here because it's been, um, it's been pretty humid in here. I need to buy one too. Yeah, it's been. Pretty I either need to buy one, a new one, or I need to clean out the filter. Because <laughs> it gets cold, but it don't get that, that cold. cold. Oh, no, you need a new air conditioner. You just need a new one. Because yeah. I had to uh, just get a towel and wet it and just lay it on top of me. And mm. it was cool. And it was hot. Yes, very yes, hot yesterday. yesterday. Oh, oh, my God. It yeah, was 90 degrees. I went around the Eddie house because, bitch, I was like, no, I can't take this heat. And um, he got this new apartment, not too far from me. Like, I, I was walking this, and I walked there yesterday. Oh, first of all, all week it was hot. Yes. Today was the first cool day. Yeah, but, you know, I was at work, so I, I yeah. couldn't really experience the heat. Yeah. But, babe. Yesterday? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> it's hot. Week. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was 90-something degrees yesterday. Yeah. And it's going to be another 90-something. They had every window day. and door open yesterday at church. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the heat I've been looking for. I just got to, I should have been prepared for it. Open these doors, open these windows. I should have been prepared for it. Everybody watching, click the thumbs up button, <coughs> click the like button. Please share this video, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you choose to share our videos. I feel like I haven't said that in a long time. But if you're watching, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to click that like button. Um, yeah, you know, Memorial Day weekend is coming up. And more states are, you know, saying, bitch, you don't need your mask, indoors or outdoors. <laughs> you know what? I'm really thinking it's still a little bit too early. I know a lot of people have been vaccinated. I'm half vaccinated. Mikhail's fully vaccinated. But I'm still like, oh, my God. Like, you know, we got to chill somewhere. But, you know, everybody's like, it's this time. We got to open up. And I just feel like everybody's rushing. And now we got all these different incentives and programs on if you get vaccinated, you'll win this money, you'll get an ice cream here, a coffee here. Like, people should want to get this vaccination not for gifts. They should want to do it because it saves lives. And um, it was this new story that just came out. They're saying that they think like close to a million people have died from COVID, whether they was tested or not. They think it's much higher. Oh yeah. Than um. Oh yeah. Than the five hundred eighty thousand people that's oh, being yeah. reported that died from COVID. Because think about the people who, like you said, died from it. Probably didn't go to the hospital, mm -hmm. so they didn't get. You know what I mean? Or the people who died from COVID. Before March of 2020, before we went on lockdown, before it really became like this big thing here in the United States. Right. It, yeah, I'm sure it is more than that. Yeah, so it's just been crazy. But, um, you know, I feel better walking with, outside with no mask on. Um, I really don't. I can't stand the heat and the mask on at the same time. But it feels good to walk out with a mask on. Indoors, I don't mind wearing a mask. Um, but outdoors, I know it's safer to be outdoors than indoors with a mask on. But it feels good to see some things are coming back to normal. Like you've seen people at baseball games, basketball games. Um, wrestling has decided that they're going to start having fans again in June. I mean, July. So things are really coming around. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. But... You know, it's tough because you got some anti-vaxxers out there. You got people who've never been wearing masks to begin with. You don't know. You know, they probably never had COVID and they are still at risk to get it. And right now, the CDC is just like, bitch, it's your fault if you get it. Like, we gave you, oh, we, gave you we gave you all enough time. There's vaccinations out here. 70% of Americans have at least had one dose of the vaccine. I think we, I think everybody should just get it. So we can really move on with our lives. and, and But I still think that 
It might be just a, a, just a little bit too early, but you know, speaking of the vaccine, today I was um, on my way home. I was watching CNN, listening to it on my phone, and they were talking about how LeBron James was asked recently during a press conference if he had gotten the vaccine. And he oh yeah, yeah, the yeah, this was yeah. and I was kind of upset because I was like, you know, first of all, LeBron. Now, granted, it's his right to privacy, whatever the case may be. However, LeBron James speaks about everything and everybody. <laughs> and not in a bad way, but he has an opinion about everything. And I just think that with one of the biggest basketball stars, who sports stars in, in the and world, huge platform. who has a, a huge platform, who has a lot of influence, um, uh, look what he did uh, last year with the election where he was able to get stadiums and arenas to open up to become polling sites. And, right. You know what I mean? I mean, that's a huge influence. So for him to not want to answer the question of whether or not he got vaccinated or not, I'm just like, come on, like, uh, if you got vaccinated, then say it. You know, that can help a lot of young people who are still hesitant about getting it, you know, want to go out there and get it. You know, and if you didn't get the vaccine, then say that too and say why you didn't get it. But don't play, oh, uh, like, I, I just didn't like that he did that because it was kind of like, yeah. LeBron, you talk about everything. Mm -hmm. You got an opinion about everything, <laughs> and now you don't want to say nothing about this. Like, yeah, yeah. And he was recently somewhere, and he and he was recently somewhere. But you know what? The, they said that the commissioner they didn't even suspend. Yeah, because they scared him. Yeah, they didn't he even suspend him. Do whatever he, he, yeah, he, he wants to do. He was supposed to get in trouble for doing that, yeah. and he didn't even get in trouble for that. Now, if you do it with him, that's really setting an example mm -hmm. for everybody. But I guess now they're like, well. You know, I don't know what the fuck they think of, but they're not going to want to suspend LeBron. Oh, it's playoff time. We need people to watch, and we need the Lakers to be at the finals. You know, I'm happy that the Sixers won yesterday, and I hope the Sixers make it to the finals. Because 20 years ago, when Allen Iverson oh my God, led, those were the, days. the Sixers those were the, days. the finals. Those were the days. Oh, my God. Maybe you had Iverson, you had Eric Snow. Yes. Um, 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 uh, Kembe, um, um uh, I can't remember uh, uh, Aaron name. McKay. Aaron McKay, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm about to say he's the coach for Temple now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. yeah. I, 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 listen, those were the days when I watched Roger basketball. Bell was on the E. I mean, the Eagles on the Sixers. I ain't watching it now. Yes. But those were the days when I watched it. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially the Sixers. Yes. I knew what was going on. <laughs> now, you couldn't get me to watch it now. Yeah, but they're doing really good. They're doing good with... um uh, Simmons? Yeah, Ben Simmons and... The tall guy. Oh, I can't yeah, remember the African his guy. name. His yeah. name is right. His face is right there in my face. I can't say his name. Yeah, I, I um, can't see yeah. it. Yeah. But he's always injured. Like both yes. of them. They're yes. always injured for something. They got to sit down. They can't play two, three games. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm tired of that shit. It's these young guys. Healthy players. It's kind of like yeah. the. It's like, you know, Alice. I. Iverson and McKee and all of them, they came from the era of the 70s when mm -hmm. the cars were made of steel. Yeah. <laughs> and those Joel Embiid, that's yeah. his name. And those cars back then, you can accident. accident. <laughs> okay? You don't want to get by Marvin Carr. Right. Today, these <laughs> new cars, these new players, you're getting a little spine of <laughs> fender bender. Yeah. And you got to be oh, out with oh, oh, oh his finger. The ball hit his finger the wrong oh way. God. Oh, his back was not <laughs> feeling well. Right. He didn't get to sit five games. Come on, how are we going to trust the process and you're not even there? Come right. <laughs> <laughs> about it. But y'all better win this series, okay? Because I watched yesterday, and it was pretty good. They they playing against uh, DC, so we'll see what happens with the Sixers making it to the final. And they're the number one, they the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. So I hope they do a good job um, because this this city needs it. And nobody's really talking about sports like that. The Phillies not doing good. The Eagles not playing. We got a new head coach. Never heard of the head coach. And we got this the um, the uh, the new quarterback or whatever, and then who cares about the Flyers because they didn't even make it to the playoffs. The so Flyers, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they was not good. They were still around. <laughs> the Flyers. No. I did not know that they were still around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the sport, nobody was about <laughs> soccer. I don't know what our soccer team was doing. Oh my god! But I think we got our first first win like maybe two weeks. Who the hell is going to go see the Flyers? <laughs> People. They was giving out vaccines at the last game. Um, 
I guess they was giving out Johnson and Johnson. I don't know who they were giving out. <laughs> well, Johnson, Johnson, Johnson's one and done. I was like, when I got John, Johnson, yeah. Johnson and Johnson. That's what I said. John. Oh, I thought you said John. John. I said he's no, dead and gone. Yeah, he better not be giving out. When I got to them, I said, they was like, you want Pfizer or Johnson Johnson? I said, Pfizer. Pfizer. I, yeah, I made them make me wait three weeks to come back, but it's okay. You know, I'll be glad to get my um, my shot, and then I can really be out here in these streets like I want to be. Um, you know, everybody going on vacation and doing their thing, and I'm just here working and stuff. That's all I do. I work, I work, I work. I'm not, I want to go on vacation. Um... And I'm really thinking about going to New Orleans. And I know I want to be... My sister's Atlanta. there now. Really? Oh, my gosh. She comes back tomorrow. I can't wait to go. She's making it look so fun. It, um, it is fun. She's there with her boyfriend. They went on a uh, on a couple's uh, trip. Mm -hmm. But just the two of them. I'm about to say the couple's <laughs> one. Yeah. No, just the two of them. Uh, this was today. She went... They went to the... They went on the swamp I'm not playing thing. around. I'm not playing around with no alligators and crocodiles and all that shit. No. Yeah. You can keep all of that. Yeah, I want to go. On that, <laughs> she could keep me shut. Yeah, I want to okay. go. You're not gonna play in the squamps, are you? Yes. Really? <laughs> Hello? Why am I going to New Orleans? Why do I go? It's like why do I go? Bitch, why would I go, go to Africa go? and got, not get chased by lions? You go to New Orleans to eat and drink. <laughs> oh yeah, that's look at the she did, But she's been there for like a week now, so oh, okay. almost a week. So she's that was her first few days. Damn near drinking. Let's get no. a Keller hurricane, mm -hmm. Jack. Let's get him a hurricane. I well, told my friends um, yesterday, I said, yeah, I want to go, because I was at a cookout yesterday. I said, when I go to Africa, I want to get chased by a lion. They said, what? <laughs> All right, come, come I want the real America. safari experience. I don't want the Six Flags safari experience. Do you want the car down with the, the top down and everything out there in the safari? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want my money's worth. <laughs> you better come back. I want a story to tell. My friend gonna say, "Well, if you come back, yes, okay, <laughs> yeah. come back I and one." And I want to get up and be like the mother at my church, testify about nothing, nothing but talk mind. about everything. <laughs> Pass up. <laughs> Yeah. Let me just say that. I got to say it. Whoa. Where is this coming from? <laughs> She's over talking the music. <laughs> I can't believe it. Pastor. Yes. Oh, my. He didn't get oh, shot in 50 seconds. Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, well, I mean, I mean, it's a time and a place for everything. If I would have told you this. <laughs> You wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> Don't say she did this yesterday. Oh, yeah. No, no. she really did it. And I couldn't believe it because you're hearing somebody screaming, asking to testify while they're warming up and saying some more. That's why I tell people, you know, these stories that I tell y'all are not fake. They're real. It's like I walk into the stuff. It's like they see me come. Oh, here he comes. Let's act a fool. Like yesterday, some guy came to our church with no shirt on. Excuse no me. Sure. <laughs> Who walked him out? Oh my God! The deacons <laughs> walked him right on out. He came. Okay. In, he was a little crazy. Mm -hmm. He came in with a Home Depot, no, a Lowe's vest with no shirt on. Mm -hmm. He clearly and I ran into him in the hallway. <laughs> you didn't do oh my God! So he was about to go in. First of all, we got a table that has all these daily breads. He took. All of the daily breads <laughs> and put them in his pocket. <laughs> that was sign number one that he was crazy because nobody's picking those up. <laughs> so I knew he was crazy. I looked like, what is he doing? I said, oh yeah, something's a little wrong. Then he had like a a, a, a plastic, uh, what do you call them, Tupperware full of, I guess it was coffee. Mm. <laughs> so he was going to go walk in the sanctuary. So I said, oh no, so you can't go in there with that. Mm. So he said, all right. So he went to go sit out on the table in the hall. So I'm like, what the hell? Mind you, he ain't got no shirt on. <laughs> or no shirt on. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. So we go in. Mind you, Sunday school's going on. So I go in. One of the ushers take me to my seat. And then he comes and one of the ushers take him to his seat. And he's sitting in a row right behind me. So, of course, everybody's looking like, oh my God. But ain't nobody, you know, <laughs> saying nothing. I did not peep that... Besides the coffee that he had, he had a plastic bag that had <laughs> like the containers that come that French fries come in. He had two of those. I just happened to turn around, and when I turned around, he had all this mayonnaise on his face. <laughs> I was just sitting there eating and eating. And I'm like, oh my God. All of a sudden, Kevin, all you hear was, yo! 
Anybody <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, move? <laughs> so now I start chuckling under my mask because I know what it's hitting for. <laughs> I know what it's hitting for. Then he says, yo, again. <laughs> so the people in the front <laughs> look. So I put my hand down. So my pastor, he's sitting out in the pulpit because when Sunday school's going on, he sits with everybody during Sunday school. So he's sitting there. So then when the second yo comes, my pastor looking like, who the hell is that? <laughs> first, the first yo. <laughs> I don't know why, why did nobody react. But the second yo, everybody reacted. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. So the guys did that? Did that? But yeah. He was a little mental. He was a little, clearly he was crazy. He had no shirt on in church. Mm. <laughs> so the deacons came. And they went and said something to him. He, he got up and left without no problem, whatever the case may be. But I told this girl, I said, you know what? This church attracts crazies. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> Every time we open our front door, when it's hot outside, here they come. <laughs> here they come. It's like there's a sign that says, come on in. <laughs> well, I should say that. <laughs> we had this, well, yeah. <laughs> You're right. We had this one guy a few years ago. <laughs> We had this one guy a few years ago while devotional was going on. He came in, and I just happened to be sitting in the back. He came in, and he walked all the way to the front of the church while devotional was going on and told one of the deacons in front of the church, let me get a dollar. Did you give him a dollar? I gave him two dollars, but I went, ooh, I was livid. I was livid because nobody stopped him. Had, as, none of the, nobody had stopped him as he was going up there. So I went and I grabbed him. And I said, come on, come on, come with me. So he, and you know me, when I get upset, I'm angry. So I said, come with me. So I had him by the arm and I was walking to the back. And I said, come on. He said, I just want a dollar. I said, I'm going to give you a dollar. When I got him to the back, two of the ushers, my pastor's sister, she was ushering. And another, and the president of the ushers, she was, they both was walking behind me. I got him to the back and I said, let me tell you something. Don't you ever come in here and do that again. <laughs> Don't you ever come in here and do that again. He said, I just want to die. So I gave him two dollars. I said, here, take it. <laughs> but don't you ever come in here and do that again. He said, oh, thank you. I'm sorry. And left. And never seen him again. And never seen No, the guy that, remember I told you he was there at your house that day. And remember I said, oh, that's the guy that was in my church that came in that day? I remember. Remember, I, remember and I was like, that's the guy that came in my church acting crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was the second time I seen him. And I said, wow, I'm from West Philly to Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> but this time you had to say nothing. Yeah, I had to say nothing this time. I couldn't believe it when he was in the store. I said, oh my God, it's the guy that was in my church asking for a dollar. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't believe the stories. I can go on and on about stuff at my church. Really good. Mm -hmm. And he can tell you too. <laughs> yes, because I hear it all the time. But I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he ain't trying to attack. We me. need a reality show at my church. <laughs> From the pulpit to the door. <laughs> we need right. a reality show. Mm -mm -mm. So, um, I had a chance to talk about this. I don't know if we talked about it on the podcast. It was on the list, but um, the Aretha Franklin trailer came out um, last week for the movie Respect. We did. Us and, we talked about it. Um, yeah, I, just in case y'all just want to know, I'm ready. And if there's a movie, like, I will, I think I probably will go to the theaters to watch mm -hmm. this film. Um, like, I'm excited for it. Mm -hmm. I've seen The Genius with uh, Cynthia Erivo doing her thing as Aretha Franklin. We just got to find a movie theater that's open. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure. Well, that hasn't closed <laughs> during this pandemic. Because quite a few of them here in Philly have closed. Yeah, yes, they have. Doing the Panda Poor, poor, poor theaters. So, like, I don't think that's something I want to watch at home. I want to watch in a theater. On the big screen, um, and I hope because this movie coming comes out in August, I just hope by the time you know movie time when all of the award shows start to come back that they don't forget about Jennifer Preston. Maybe her performance will be that good that it will be, will be unforgettable. And I'm just really excited, and I'm 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 excited to see Marlon Wayans like in a dramatic role or just like a serious role. Period. Um, because I can't really think of anything that I've seen him in that was serious. Um, I've seen his sister, Kim Waynes, in a movie named Pariah. I went to the movie like 10 years ago and watched it, and it was really good. And she was one of the parents that didn't like that. She had a lesbian daughter, and her daughter was out there doing things. And, you know, and I'm just looking like, well, wait a minute. You know, I started thinking, like, well, isn't she? And then I just didn't try But this is a but movie. Just, this is a movie. I, I know. <laughs> but you trying it. I, I did try it a little I bit. I have nothing to do with that Kim Waynes. 
nothing, okay? But nothing. she played the role really good. I mean, the obvious has always been there, but <laughs> yeah. I have nothing to do with what he just said. <laughs> you know? Okay. But I'm excited. Like, <clears throat> if any movie that I'm excited to see is the Respect movie. Anything else, like, I haven't been really excited about. So since we on the head, right, so I got to tell y'all some stuff y'all got to watch. Mikhail, you have to watch it. I don't care if you don't watch this, girls. Married to Medicine. <laughs> Let me tell you how. <laughs> I lay here in the smelter and heat. <laughs> I am all caught up for except for last night's episode. How many seasons is it of Married This Medicine? eight seasons. Damn. Because I would have went, but I... Because, you know, I never got into them. I never it's got into them. It's always a good time. And everybody, all, the last time I got into them was when, and, and you can tell, help me, which season was this, when they was all fighting at the pool? The mom and the daughter was fighting. Oh, bitch, that was earlier. Yeah. That was, like that was the, first the last season. time I that watched That was the that. first season. <laughs> Toy and Mariah yeah. was fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she said, so like, yo, you hit my mama. You yeah. hit my mama. <laughs> Well, that was grounds to fight. <laughs> yes, let me tell you. That was grounds to fight. Those girls have come a long way. And I think... <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Toya this season, she is a fucking mess. Did you see Dr. Heavenly on Shave Room? No. Saying her pussy was like Porsche tracks. You didn't see her drunk on there? Well, oh, they was all on the private jet and a doc. What's the uh? Yeah, that was some last night. No, when they went with Doctor, with Al Sharpton and them. This was this was like a somebody recorded this on their phone. This wasn't on the show. What she say? She was drunk on the private jet, and the mm -hmm. other one, the other doctor recorded her. She said, "Yeah, because my I'm 50 years old and something like my basically referencing like Portia. Her pussy is like Portia." Oh, so this is recent. Yeah, this is yeah, but it's not on the show. It's oh, just somebody child. was recording. Doctor. Yeah, I'm about to show you. They post so much stuff on here on the shade. Yeah, oh, here she go, right here. Are you this new? She still got that portion. <laughs> she always talking about her husband and with and them having sex. But then when I was watching one of the episodes, she talking about her freak numbers are five. Like, girl, how you talking about all this sex you do with daddy and you are five? Like, come on. But this season has been so good. Even during a pandemic, it kept me watching over and over. Every episode, every episode. And, and it made it good that this time, I don't know what DVR service I have, but it goes right to the next episode. Mm -hmm. It ain't even asked, Do you, are you still watching? It just goes to the next episode. And the drama got crazier and crazier. But Toya, it's like Toya thinking that, Everybody is coming down on her. No, Toya, everybody is not coming down on you. You run your mouth too fucking much. <laughs> you talk shit about everybody. You talk about people's houses. You talk about people's men. You talk about this new girl that came up on the show. You call her a dinghy. Then she said, but they talking about you talking about me. Not the girls, but mm -hmm. the neighbors. And she's like, well, you are a little. But no, bitch, any problem you have with me, talk to me about mm -hmm. it. Don't talk to everybody else about it. And something I'm glad that girl had balls to even say that to you. You know, at the, wherever y'all was at, it was, never really went to the spot. Mm -hmm. But she had to let you know. Because she may not have seen wrong. it. Yeah. <laughs> so and she's making head. like everything is, oh, everything is cool. You know, no, bitch, everything is not cool. And then I'm glad that Dr. Jackie and Dr. Toya, I mean, Dr. Uh, Simone, that y'all fixed that. Well, wherever y'all at, I hope y'all much better today because you not, Simone, you not inviting Dr. Jackie to your son's graduation or to the party. That was petty as fuck. And she delivered that child. And y'all been the friends for 20 years. And it wasn't really like she did anything or y'all said anything that was so nasty, you know, to not even invite her. But then y'all had jokes about her because somebody looked like her and y'all thought she was coming. Like, come on. That's horrible to do to somebody. And you know, like, you know, Dr. Jackie ain't hurt nobody. But they both got, you know, they all got, they, they everybody on here was doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Dr. Contessa and her husband, she is just talking too much <laughs> about her relationship and thinking her husband is cheating. To, oh, I'm not bothered. Well, if you're not bothered, bitch, why bring it up? Stop bringing up if you think that your man is out here cheating. Because then he really be out here cheating. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all got all these kids. Y'all barely can take care of them because you're out here saving people and stuff. But then you keep in the back of your mind, 
Well, I don't know what he's out there doing. I don't like stop talking like that. And you're talking around all the girls. That's a way for them to create drama, mm -hmm. bring it to their husbands, and their husbands can talk to him about, you know, stuff. Like, it was just, just bad. Like, everybody got their own shit. <coughs> but I love it this season. I was glued. And now I gotta just watch. And, they, and I'm glad that Quad don't have a peach no more. Or she's not a main member of the show, but she's there. They brought the old girls, Lisa Nicole and Carrie, back. Because uh, I guess Toya ain't had no friends this season. So they back. They had Al Sharpton and Ben, then Ben Crump. Oh, God. They went to the march on Washington. All of that. <clears throat> I love seeing all of that. That they out there doing their missions amongst all the drama. So like this is why I say I love this show better than the Housewives because it's like you got women, you got women with issues, but it's not high school issues. They got their own lives. Not saying the housewives of Atlanta don't, but they got their own. Like they got money, they got coins, they got their men, they got their husbands. Their husbands are cool. The wives got their drama. They try to bring that shit to the husbands. The husbands not trying to hear that shit. I love it all, and that's something that the housewives of Atlanta is missing. Like y'all don't really have husband and wives. Y'all not really out here doing your own thing. Y'all just creating petty ass, corny ass drama. That's what made me turn it off. Now this, I'm back in it now. Like I'm in it. I was watching last season, but I'm back here. Like I binge watch. I got enough, and I love it. Another thing I watched the Upshaws with um Kim Fields and Mike Epps. Now, I don't know if y'all haven't, if y'all watched this yet on Netflix, but y'all have to give it a shot. It is good. I've watched it all the way up to episode 10, which is the final episode. And I love, um, we got Ronda Sykes and I love a show where they curse in it. You know, they curse and it's a 30, 30 minute sitcom. Have you watched it yet? No. You ain't paying no mind? No. Yeah, you should watch it. It's good. It's good. And, and I like how the episodes all tie into each other. This is not no random. Mm. 30 minutes, not no, bitch, we got issues, we got drama, bitch, you got to move out, get the fuck out my house type of shit. Like, I love it. Y'all got to check it out. With Kim Fields, Mike Epps, and Wanda Sykes, it's called The Upshaws, it's on Netflix. All right, and that's all the stuff I've just been binge watching. All the stuff I've been binge watching, and um, I know I'm rambling, but I got to keep going. Well, this is a show I've been watching on Amazon Prime that... Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. The Underground Railroad. Yeah, the Underground Railroad. I haven't Railroad. watched that yet. I, I actually find it quite interesting. Now, there were a few people when I was talking about it on my Instagram Live that said that they didn't care for it. And they felt like it was whitewashed. And then I had to uh -oh. watch it a little bit more. And I was just like, mm, I don't know if this is would be considered whitewashed. Because, I mean, it's it's weird. <laughs> but it kept me it kept me going. Like, it kept me watching. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to tell too much about the show because I want people to watch it and just give their you own... You tell our stories or Harry and Tubman or... Whatever. No, it's a story about... The main character is this slave girl mm. named Cora. Cora? Yeah, named Cora. And um, she escapes this plantation that she's living on. She has this thing because her mother, of course, was a slave. And then her mother ended up leaving her behind when she was young. So she kind of has some type of... I feel like she has some type of resentment to her mother for leaving her. Um, but the show is actually kind of based on what Portia said a few seasons ago, which is there's actually a real life... But what time the Underground Railroad comes? No, that there's oh. actually a real life Underground Railroad. That's how oh. the show... It's like a, it's like a weird I'm fantasy type of show, but... Mm -hmm. You know how the Underground Railroad, we know what the Underground Railroad is, but this show is based on a real-life Underground Railroad. A railroad that's underground, and a lot of white people are trying to figure out where where, and how are these slaves getting to where they're getting to. You know, let's basically say, how are these slaves getting to Maryland from Georgia on foot like they're confused like how are they able to do this you know in such a little time like but there's actually and there's some white folks that are helping them it's it's weird but it's kind of good like it's kind of good um 
Have you watched the whole thing yet? I'm almost done. I can't remember what episode I'm on. I might be on episode six or seven. But it's kind of... I like it. I like it. I mean, there were some people who said that they didn't really care for it. But let me see. What episode am I on? Um, I'm on episode six. I'm on episode six. And they got ten? I think it's ten episodes. Yeah, um, it yeah it's... I, uh, I like it. <laughs> and y'all know, I, if it's if it's something I like, then it got to be something kind of good. Because, you know, I, I, I usually yeah. like the shows. But it's just, I just have to warn people, it's not what you think. It is a little weird. Like, But I thought it was interesting that they told, that they're telling a story about, uh, 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 what is it, nonfiction? Mm-hmm. Uh, Underground Railroad. <laughs> or is it fiction? Wait, what's the name? No, no it's, it's, it's fiction. Yeah, I'm fictional. sorry. I know sometimes you forget. Yeah. <laughs> a fictional underground railroad. And it's it's an interesting show. It's really interesting. I find it interesting. So, yeah, so if y'all got Amazon Prime, check it out. And I don't have Amazon Prime. But I'm watching it on my sister's Amazon Prime. <laughs> you know, I need to start mooching off of everybody right. else too. Because I pay too much in these, right, okay. all these damn bills. <clears throat> Listen, I don't raise my sister, okay? <laughs> so she better give me her password. <laughs> I hope she changed the password in the she middle of watch it. She better not. And then sign your ass up. Because you know there's a way to sign people out on all the devices. Well, see, she, my sister put me on to, no, was it? No. No. How I got my sister's passport, I think it was when that movie with, um. Coming to America? No, that guy, that black guy who, um, his son was killed by the police officer. And then he goes, him and his friends hold up. They take hostage a police station. Uh, it's a movie? Yeah, it was on Amazon. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all probably screaming at the thing. It came out last year. Nate, Nate, the guy who was accused of uh, sexual Child, harassment. I ain't, I ain't even watching. You, you know, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the, yeah, him. Yeah, he, yeah, he, uh, he started in that movie. It's a, it's actually a pretty good movie, and that's how mm-hmm. I got to get my sister's thing because she wanted me to watch it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and then I watched that on there, and then I watched a few other things on Amazon. Amazon Prime. Yeah, they got, they got some good. Yeah, my, I think the best show I watched was um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And I know our audience probably haven't watched it. But that show is fucking... That's the British show, right? No. no. This, the, um, this is about a show in the 1950s with the white woman becoming a comedian um, back in those times. And you know right. that really wasn't going down. I mean, you know, they would look down on mm-hmm. that type of stuff. But it's a really good is show. Is it a drama or comedy? It's a dramedy. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's more... Comedic, uh-huh. but the like I don't know when this show is coming back, but they had the guy, the black guy that be on um This Is Us. Uh-huh. He was on the last season of it, and um, his character really pretty much is a main character, and it's kind of like a cliffhanger ending with uh-huh. him and her. They're not in a relationship, but something really bad happens, uh-huh. and I've been waiting for two years. To find out Two years. what happened to the pandemic. You know, what oh. happens? So, I need to know. Like, I'm, I love this show. I really do. I really do. And and I can see why it won all the awards that it did. But I, I can't wait for it to come back. Um, I, I haven't really watched nothing else. Um, haven't been watching anything else. Um, well, The Shy came on last night. Yes, of course. The Shy came back last night. Season four, and we really didn't have to wait that long in between the um from this season no. and last season. Well, uh, what's today? Monday, yeah. Sunday, Saturday. So Saturday, Lena hit me up and she was telling me that um she asked me was I gonna watch it Saturday or Sunday. So I said wait, I didn't. Then she said something about YouTube. So I said oh I didn't know it was on YouTube. So she yeah. said yeah, Showtime put it on there, and it's, of course it's a little limited to what they are showing on there. So I said, well, I'm just going to wait to watch it on Sunday because <laughs> I want to see and hear everything. everything. Okay. okay. But um, she said that they had gotten a lot of views so far on YouTube. But then um, she was also telling me that it's on Hulu, too. Now, I have Hulu and I have Showtime. So when I went to go... Um, you gotta, I guess you got to watch it through Showtime on Hulu. Well, yeah, but then my subscription, my Hulu subscription didn't have... Showtime. Cover Showtime, mm-hmm. but I actually have Showtime, so it was like, okay, well, that's all right. Which I think I'm going to cancel my Hulu because after talking to you the other day, I started thinking to myself, Mikel, you actually you're only paying for Hulu to watch The View because you know that's how much I love The View. But then I have 
cable and I have my cable app on my phone and I can just record the view when it comes on yes. TV for free. <laughs> but I love the view so and much. It's been real bitchy. Yeah, I, know. Came I heard. I got somebody. Yeah, I uh, saw somebody sent me a clip today, but I didn't watch it because I'm gonna watch the view. We got to. We got to put those yeah. in there because you know topic, she's something else. It's a topic <laughs> um, with that lady, that Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, but you know what? I don't like Whoopi. Allow the argument to go. Stop saying we're going to the break. 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 Because today, she's like, bitch, why the fuck you think I'm going to stop you if you didn't say we're going to the break? I got the fuck. I recorded it today. Somebody sent me the clip, but I refused to watch it. Oh, you seen it? You didn't see it. I don't want to watch it. Because I wait, I want to watch the show to see why it led up to that. She's like, why are we going to the break? Yeah, because she gets tired of them. Because every time she's going in it with somebody, Whoopi yells, go to the break. And you can tell deep down, even though they don't fuck with her no more, she is a Republican through and through. Because you out there defending that crazy ass bitch. And we're gonna we're gonna get to that. But we gotta get to the shot. Yeah. Back to the shot. Fuck him. It was good. Yes, it was. It was very good. And I already see where this season is going. Yes. And I knew that Lena wrote last night's episode. When I heard Kevin say, I get my news from the shade room. The shade room, yes. I said, oh, bitch, she wrote this. Yeah, she wrote true. this episode. Mm-hmm. But it was good. And, and I love how their time... Not the Scorpion in, show, the shade right, room. The shade but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. But yeah, I said, oh, look down. And I was just on here, too. Yeah. A lot of young people get their news from the shade room. Mm-hmm. It ain't the real news, but they get that's. But they're yeah, not but watching you know, the real news any fucking way. <laughs> yeah, and I had a coworker. Oh, back, just go, just coworker, just talking about yeah, because I don't watch the news. Such and such and such and such. It's too sad. I'm tired of that excuse that it being too sad. How you know what the weather is? How you know what's going on? No, they don't watch the news nothing? because they don't understand what they're watching. Or listen like, it's to. not that hard. You get right. a little bit of shit that happened. You get a little bit of stuff that's going on in your neighborhood. You find out about sports. You get the weather. You get the traffic. Right. And then you go ahead. Right. All you really need is 30 minutes of the news. Because they repeat to every 30, every fucking 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Just for the people that's just waking up and tuning in. Uh-huh. Like, it's not that hard. But anyway. Right. Yeah, so the shot came back. And it starts off with... Uh, a clip leading up to the mayor or Duda getting shot, and they say, "Oh, 30 days earlier." So we'll be about to find out everything that happened within <clears throat> a, a week of um, the span of four weeks. We see. I forgot that um, which car got married. Um, Emmett. I didn't even. I forgot Emmett got yeah, married. So he got married. The father is fucking um, <laughs> Lala's character, and I'm just like, wait a minute. And I know he was. Trying to talk to her, but last I don't remember yeah, talking don't, to her Yeah, ever actually getting... Yeah, together. yeah. I don't now know they fucking... And then, on, and then, yeah, because I was going to hit you up, Lena, but I said, no, I ain't going to hit her up. I'm going to just keep watching. But then, I didn't... Last season, didn't really say that they got together. I think he was trying to... Yeah, he, it was like... Right, yeah. he was, yeah, flirting or whatever. And it kind of seemed like she wasn't interested. I don't know. But then... Kevin and them are not even living in the apartment no more. They're living in somebody's old house. Because if you notice, that's somebody that was they were in the house. I ain't even pay attention to. Yeah, them. they're in the house because uh, that's not the they apartment probably, no more. They, yeah, they probably move, but we ain't see them move right. No, now. and it's not telling us yeah. whose house it is because it's decorated like it's an old lady's house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bitch, I'm like, what the hell did I just hear outside? And then what you just said? And then I'm thinking like, wait a minute. Because I, I wanted them to explain when did they move? When and then this is me. This is me, Lena. This is me. The whole show, because once I noticed that they were no longer in their apartment, the whole show, and if anybody else is like this, please let me know. The whole show, I was waiting to hear one of them say when they moved. Right. <laughs> and nobody ever said when they moved. Because I'm like, when the fuck did they move in this house? Right. They never said that. So Kevin and his girlfriend, he's sleeping at her house now. Yeah. And the father doesn't see them on the camera. And I thought the father was gonna say something. Yeah, he never said anything. Like that's how you, that's how you get them though. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't even say nothing. Just let it build up to that point. But I hope it's not to the point where she gets pregnant. Because okay. We don't need that storyline with Kevin out here. No. <laughs> getting people pregnant. Mm. 
When I see him in her bed, I'm like, oh my God, they're kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because <laughs> I look at them as kids. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, kids be out here doing I was not in nobody's bed that age, but I was in a few parks. You wasn't in no kids <laughs> that age. A few <laughs> alleyways. <laughs> A few, How old a few stairwells. <laughs> Around that age. Okay. You know, you get it in and you leave. <laughs> I'm in somebody's bed. <laughs> now, I wasn't in nobody's bed at that age. That's what I mean. You got to say 16. Said, yeah, but I wasn't in nobody's oh, bed you at 16. <laughs> no. I damn sure wasn't spending in nobody's house at 16. After I get my rocks off, I don't even want to look at you no more. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know what? I'm, I'm clocking out at that. I'm just saying. So, not at 16. Right. No, I'm ready to go on to the next person I could be so they at, So they all go to this new school where they had to wear these uniforms and they changed their uniforms on the train? But like they were going to that school last season. But they don't... Yeah, because he didn't want to go. Who? Like, Kevin didn't want to go to this school. And remember, Duda put Jake in the new school because once he got a hold of Jake, he put him in this. Mm -hmm. So they were going there last season. I don't remember him going there. Yeah, I do remember him. But I do remember Kevin going, you know, getting ready. If I'm That's how he met the girl. Him. Yeah. At the, at, you know, she introduced him to everything that was going on. Yeah, Jake was going there last season. I don't remember him was. going there. I, he was. Yeah, but wherever they was going to or wherever they was coming from, they gets into this little spat with this little neighborhood kid or the kid that's in the area. And then we seen what's been going on in this country with the police um, beating Jacob. I mean, they Jake, they beat his ass. He's in the hospital. Um, Papa's girlfriend recorded the video. And I think a couple other people was out there recording. The a cops. lot of people were out there. Yeah. And, you know, you would think that <laughs> cops would be thinking like, okay, now I'm on tape. They don't care. Yeah, it happens all the time. You, you see them punch people in the face for no reason. Yeah, okay. You're choking them. You already got the handcuffs on. Like, what are you doing? So it, it just it just shows you that, okay. You know, if you notice, there, was, there wasn't really no cops last season. And now that the cops are back, they out there showing their ads. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, it just, it just, it just, it just is like okay, they're blending in like what's going on. They're bringing it here, mm -hmm. and this time we're seeing things from a child's point of view. And you know, out of all the stuff that's been going on, I never thought to ask my nieces like, you know, what do you think about what's going on with um, with officers and black with officers and black people and Black Lives Matter and so much. Like I've never thought to do that. Cause I only could go by, you know, my experiences mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but that, that I think that would probably be good to do. But we see it from their point of view, and it just wasn't good. Um, and what you know, it's a lot. What happened after that? They went to the, you know, I guess Luke James character found out because I can't remember his name. Um, they went. Wait, so Jake gets taken, yeah, to, he's taken um, to the hospital. The hospital. Um, all beat the fuck up. Yeah, handcuffed to the bed. Now I said, okay, they're throwing real life in there because that's how they had the guy that got shot in the back. And but that's what they do with anybody under arrest. If you have to go to the hospital, they take. Cause you know, that's if you if you a flight risk. I don't think they be handcuffing you to the bed like that, dude. Let's see, I'm not a criminal. I don't I don't know. All and you also things. don't work in the hospital. No, I've been working in the hospital since I've been 19. I I'm 35. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you sitting here trying to tell me something. Well, I know bitch, what I'm talking about. Girlfriend. If you are under arrest and they have to take you to the hospital, you are under arrest. So, yes, when they take you to the hospital, they're going to handcuff you. They're going to handcuff you. to the bed. And the all same way. Up. The same, yes, all beat up. In the same way that cop was inside, outside of that room, yeah. that was for TV because there's a cop in the room with you. Not standing mm -hmm. outside no door. The cop is usually in the room with them. Um, yes, that's what they do. In the, that's wow. exactly what they do. They now, I, I've heard that some people, you know, like when they be, um, you know, they steal a car and they get injured and all of that stuff. Now, I've heard of that stuff. Now that the cop beat your ass, I didn't know. Yeah, but remember, he was under arrest, too. They put him under arrest because they said that right. uh, basically... I'm sure whatever the charge they did, he, he was, was resisting arrest or whatever. Right. Oh, yeah, because of the crazy, crazy and he called. Right. Like, Stop resisting. Right. So he's I'm under arrest. Man. Yeah, they, they're not going to put you under, they're not going to handcuff you to a bed just because they beat you up. No, they're going to handcuff you to a bed if they arrest you. Yeah. So, you know, have so to take he, you to the he had all that going on. The kids all feeling bad about what's going on. Um, 
Keisha talked to Kevin about, you know, you don't want to feel like this. And he found out, you know, like uh -huh. this how you how you felt to going through what she was going through. Keisha is looking for, so Keisha's going to have the baby, but she's going to give her baby up for adoption. So I guess she's looking to give her children to the right family. And the, the new character is on the show, and I guess with her boyfriend, the boyfriend or the husband, but he was he was he was irking me the whole time. They're, like, well, they're actually getting the divorce. Yeah, they're getting a the divorce. Yes, they, but they, she wanted they told to have she was getting a divorce. him there because yeah. she of course it looks better better when you have two parents. It looks like parents. in a two parent household mm -hmm. right. and stuff like that. I kind of but you know what yeah, I this was shady from the beginning. I was on the <laughs> side of Kevin last season where I just felt like you know a friend of mine. She and I were talking about this last night. We were talking about the shot last night and um. She she said that she was in agreement with Kevin too last year where Kevin didn't want his sister to have the baby because it was like you were raped. Why are you having a baby by somebody that you were raped? Mm -hmm. And this, in my opinion, and my friend and I were talking about this, we kind of, we kind of said, well, this is where abortion would come in at right. because you know he was raped, by you were somebody. raped by someone, you know. And to think about it, there are a lot of people out here who have their babies. And don't put them up for adoption. They mm -hmm. keep the baby, even babies that come from being raped. Mm -hmm. um, I was, like I said, I was on the side of Kevin last year. I just couldn't understand. Like, well, girl, you were kidnapped. You were raped. You know, yeah. beat up. Why would you want to keep this man's baby? But I don't know. They didn't really del talk about right. that this season either from Kevin, the start. Yeah. But <laughs> she's big as day now. And Huge. I have a feeling... She's gonna keep trying try, try to keep the baby. Yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna keep the baby. I do. I have a feeling she's gonna keep the baby. I um, um there's this wrestler. Um, his name is Titus O'Neil, and he is a product a of product rape. of rape. Mm. Like his mom, I think his mom is only twelve years older than him, mm. and um, mm. you know they decided to keep the baby and stuff like that. But he is just one of the most inspirational people. Mm. Um, oh, it's out there. I can't imagine me a, a twelve year old pregnant and then well, she might have having been twelve to or put, thirteen. Why yeah, but that's years. still young. Like, because there was something on TV on the news where a fourteen year old mm -hmm. gave birth to a baby in Jersey baby and off. handed the baby. But thank God she handed the baby off to somebody rather than threw it in the trash. What Holly Berry did losing Isaiah. Thank God she didn't do something like that. And she we had, had something it. like that happen in Philly like two three years ago. And she hands her, the baby off to somebody who just happens to be in the medical field. And the woman said that she knew something was wrong with the baby because when she got the baby, the baby was barely breathing and she noticed that the umbilical cord was still wrapped onto the baby. So they called 911 and luckily when the police came, they were able to come with oxygen to give to the baby and the baby, you know, started breathing and then crying or whatever. But she said that the baby, the breathing was really, really faint. And that's wow. how she knew something was because in the beginning she didn't know that the baby was just born until she unwrapped the baby and realized the umbilical cord parts was still wrapped. Oh my god! And the girl ran away. And the girl her? ran away. She left. She handed the baby over and left. She didn't stick around. She left. She just left. Left them with the baby. Right. And I think they said they were trying to find out, find out who the mother was. Before we get yeah. too sidetracked, hold up. Mm. We just said the shy and Keisha. Yeah, and having baby. this baby. And yeah. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, but the rest, the wrestler. Yes. I was saying like, he is a really inspirational person. That he's not the most famous wrestler, but when it comes to you know teaching your children, you know to stay out of trouble, um, he's had books and stuff like that. Like he's been out here doing his thing, and you know it just makes you think. What if his mother decided that mm -hmm. okay, or his, our family's not, right. you know, well, let's not do it. You know, I think families have to make the best decisions mm -hmm. on what's best for the children. Um, even though, like, I'm one of them people, like, I... Like, do, is that something you really want to do? Mm -hmm. well, maybe adoption will be better instead of getting an abortion. I don't know, but... I'm glad that a topic like this is on the show. Because mm -hmm. you don't really see that. So we'll see what happens. So you think she's going to keep it? I do. I think she's going to keep it because I think she may be a little hesitant. Mm -hmm. And she but said you that she's talking know. about the two Yeah, you never know. She might, She. I don't know. I. It is It is a good topic to have on the show because it has you wondering and then it opens up conversations about, well, if something like this did happen to somebody you know, what would be the best 
option or the best route to go. But one thing that's really, really confusing me last night, that confused me last night, was the mom whose son started off this whole series who was killed. And now she's linking up with the mayor. Right. And I'm kind of trying to figure out, well, what is that all about? <laughs> well, you know... Her and um, Ron, they looked like they was getting back together. Yeah, but then, that. but Ronnie got killed. Mm -hmm. But now she's with this whole, you know, non-profit thing where she's trying to. But then now it's like now she's linking up with the mayor to help her. But then it's like, oh, we're giving each other googly eyes and all yeah, that. Oh, yeah, because she knows she's being she used. Didn't but give, yeah, but she didn't give me that type that was fast in the ass but last I mean, season. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. This bitch, I'm going to be fast, too. I mean, but he is married. And Candy did invite her. And Candy, and she did, yeah, Candy. She did. Yeah. But that's Candy. That wasn't the mayor's wife. That's Candy. <laughs> that's Lena no keeping it real. All about Candy. You yeah. know, I'm all about Candy. Candy. Okay. I don't share, but. Uh, she said, I don't <laughs> share, but. But. <laughs> you want to fuck my man? That's what she asked at the table. You want to fuck my husband? Yeah, well. That's a fine ass man. He really is. Like, he, he is. She said, you want to fuck my husband. I said, go ahead, Candy. Because I don't know her name on the show. I don't know her name either. <laughs> right. But I was like, okay. So I'm gonna, but then I'm looking, and when they're sitting at the table, I said, well, when do all of them become friends? Because yes. I don't even yes. remember. <laughs> Lady, you got some explaining to do, okay? Because I, I was trying to figure that out, too. When did the Kevin step mom, <laughs> right, Emmett's mom, <laughs> and this woman become friends. Yeah, and you know what's so crazy? <laughs> Everybody that was associated. You could do me at the dance table. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, get that check, girl. What damn good is it to have them at the table if you don't know how the fuck they met? <laughs> well, lay it out. But I'm thinking, okay, well, they had to get together because Coogie got killed, the daughter got raped. Right. And Ronnie well, got they all know we, Well, we know yeah, that all Kevin's mom knows. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know that they was cool like that. Yeah. And they started the organization together. And now they're trying to get the coins. So, you know, it's it's, it's a lot going on. You just got to pay attention. attention. Yeah, yeah. And then I thought the mayor, <laughs> I think the mayor know about Luke James' girl. I think he know her team. Oh, yeah. And then I'm thinking, oh, oh he knows. <laughs> Then I'm like, yeah, or, mm, mm, or I'm, like, I'm like, well, what is he trying to do? Well, what they she all trying to do? <laughs> yeah, okay. they need a person like you on there. Yeah, me. talk about yeah, it. Me. Like, yeah, they do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, you better check your name. Well, me to be on there, right? He told him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be like, cause men do it all the time. All or, or you the think you know time. Them, huh? <laughs> you just <laughs> cut into a clip with me talking. <laughs> Look, see me, see me, see me, all of a sudden you see me. All the time they do it all the time. Yeah. You need to check your man. You think you know? You too. Have no idea. Okay. No, because I know my man was. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, do you? It's ten p.m. Where's your man? Do you know where your man is? Isn't that how the commercial used to go? It's ten p.m. Yeah. Do you know, do you know where your child is? Okay. Well, do you? No, but they do. They do. They do. They need to do a new one that says no. But do you? Yeah, but do you? And then you have me on there. But do you? Yeah. And one of my faces. <laughs> Cause enough is enough. Yes, Especially sure. here in Philly. Mm -hmm. They need to have it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bitch. Today I was watching the news. <laughs> they said we are past 200, 200. murders. And They're like, we are officially at 201 murders. <coughs> and it's only, what, 140 some days? Yeah, and somebody got shot in a store on 25th of Cambria today. I'm just like, he got killed too. I'm just like, <gasps> like, y'all just don't care no more. That's why I stay, that's why I stay here or at work. Uh-huh. I don't got time to be nowhere else. I don't even go back to North Philly like that. Like, nope. I'll go out to eat. You know I'll be at the restaurant. But shit, bitch, you can't even sit at an outdoor yeah. restaurant for a car flying down the street running up the yeah. gym. And that happened twice in a week. I said, oh my God, but you see that crazy man in that U-Haul running down the people in Northern Liberty? I'm just No, like, when was this? Oh, this is like three weeks ago. Oh and my God. Another a car just... Accidentally hit people, but like, girl, you can't even sit outside and eat. Yeah, I don't like that. First of all, I don't like that sitting outside. Yeah, yeah, me neither. Remember I told you about yeah. that lady asked me, Oh, you want something? Yeah, because I did. Somebody I asked you what? She said, Oh, you can get some. But like, no, I'm not going to just walk up to you and just eat your food. Yeah. yeah. No. What? Yes. Mm -hmm. She put her hand in your food? No, 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 no. 
I was walking by and, and she, she saw that I was you, looking at the food. Oh, and then actually, did you want some? Oh, yeah, she said, oh, you can get some. I, I don't know. No. I mean, I probably wanted it too, but I said no. You know, it's COVID. I wasn't vaccinated at the time. So I don't know. So if it wasn't COVID, you'd have <laughs> ate off that lady's plate? I sure would have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? Bitch! Nasty, bro. Nasty. No one trained it. Oh, we were. Oh, we've been eating off of each other all the time. Not no stranger on the street. Oh my God. <laughs> God. You know, there's some things you should like You just got to come and you just got to try this. You want to try Oh, no. Oh. You know, but sometimes I don't eat off everybody. You know, you know, sometimes you person, don't eat off everybody. You, that you should be off of you. Nobody. They're no like, time. You want to have Like, no, I'm good. I'm cool. Some people like you want a piece, yeah, I'll try and it. you try it. Yeah. After they've already licked their fingers and did all this to touch the food, and then they offer it to you. They seen you coming around the corner. Oh, let's try. Let's get him to try it. Yeah. So the shy, I can't wait for next week, <laughs> and I can't wait for that clip of Mikael talking about the clip about Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for me to come up. So our auntie Michelle Williams has a book coming out tomorrow, May twenty fifth. Most of y'all will be watching on May 25th, so that's today. And um, her book is called Checking In. It would have been nice if I had it open. Oh, okay. Now see, now. If you had brains, you'd be dangerous. I don't know. Oh my God. I don't know why I closed you the box. You didn't open the box. I had it open oh. today. It don't even look like you ever opened it. Now see, that's that's not how you do an unboxing. Make sure my address don't get put up. Oh. Now, let me tell you something. You're eating off of people's plates. No one's coming here. Oh, bitch, I done did worse in the game. Okay. Here I go, right here. Why didn't you just already have the book out? I don't know. Well, that's how you... And that's you how did you, not... You didn't open this. You lied. Because everything is still in place. No, that's how you do it. I'm <laughs> Everything is still in place. Yeah, I did it that way. But I didn't mean for this to happen. You should have thrown that, throw that shit in the trash. See, the candle's not in there. That's how you know I've been in there. Oh, it's not. See? Where is it? Oh, oh, on the table. Yeah. It smells really good. You can even still smell the lavender in the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, where's that letter? I don't know what happened to the letter that was in there. She left you with a letter? Yeah. You didn't get a letter inside of yours? No, I don't think I did. You had a letter inside. Maybe it was just for you. No, it was a letter addressed to everybody. Well, I didn't get a letter. Maybe she only put no. Maybe she just put a letter in one book. Cause I didn't get a letter. I looked. You really didn't get a letter? No, I looked yeah. in the box before I threw it in the trash. Cause you want to make sure there's not nothing in the bosom. Yeah, hold that up for a second. I'm trying to find a letter. Mm -hmm. So that's Michelle's new book. It's called Check It In. It comes out tomorrow. Yes, you wrote a letter. You need to look in here again. I threw mine in the trash. Yes, it talks about. I'll Michelle's keep no box laying around. Her battles with depression. And let me see the front because it says something on the side. Let me just read that. How getting real about depression saved my life and can save yours. And she has some testimonies on the back from Bob Goff from the New York Times, Tina Knows Lawson, Charlemagne the God, Dr. Caroline Leaf, who I'll be seeing her have uh, multiple um, one on one sessions with on. Um, Instagram Live and Sarah Jake Roberts, and that's the the daughter of uh, T D Jakes. Okay. Yeah, she has a podcast with um her on there. Like Michelle, be her podcast is also called Checking In, and she has some great guests, and soon will be on there in the future. Um, but um, like you know, just because you never heard of these people, you'd be like, well, you know, what the fuck they gonna talk about? But the conversations be good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it says uh, the letter. To my dear friends, I am truly excited to send you my book, Checking In. In one way or another, you've played a big part in my journey to wellness. Whether you were calling, texting, visiting with me, or I've listened to your music, read your book, or saw you on TV doing your thing, you've been an inspiration to me. This is my small way of saying thank you. I started writing this book in 2019, and it's been such a healing and risk Rest, restore the process. Checking in was written in hopes that you may identify with something in my story that it would give someone courage and strength to hold on because it does get better. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not checking in with myself, others, and God. It became an essential part of my day. There are situations that occur in my life where you may not always see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I'm a witness that the light is there. Even if you have to crawl through it, 
is there. A can-do is provided with this book to remind you to take a little time to check in with yourself. You certainly deserve it. There was a time when I wasn't doing that, and well, bitch, it's all in the book. Now, she didn't say bitch, but I put it in there. I love you and pray many blessings and lots of strength to you and your loved ones. Keep checking in. This is a nice letter. If you're dealing uh, with depression, this is a good book to get. It really is. And then, you know, some people may be dealing with depression who don't even know that they're dealing with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't even know that they're dealing with it. But like you said, she's doing really good. We talked about this maybe about two weeks ago on the podcast in regards to her... Um, Oh, what the hell that was? Her, ooh, mm. ouch. You all right? You just funny book. Yes, I did. I did. Um, you know, with uh, her podcast and everything, she's doing really good. And um, hopefully this will be an inspiration for a lot of people. Yes. I can't wait to uh, start reading it. Yes, so make sure y'all get your book. I mean, has his own copy. For yes. those things, well, why did she only send to you? Well, we didn't. We yeah, no, argue about the paper being in there. I right? know, right? <laughs> right, because, you know, some people will still miss that part. And, you know, they won't. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't get the, I don't. Maybe I did get it, Kevin. I just probably yeah. didn't. Well, maybe they boxed it too fast. You never know. Yeah, you never know. You yeah. never know. But I can't wait to um to like really get up in this story. And um, Miss Tina Lawson was talking about a um a car crash, and I want to know what that was about. Mm. She said, including the crash. She said, Michelle is written from the heart with great humor and love. The chapters are interwoven with her unabashed honesty <clears throat> and some entertaining stories about her journey including the crash that changed her life. A must read. So I got to see what this is. Well, how do you know it's a car crash? She's I don't know about a car crash. crash. But, but when I'm thinking about a crash, you she's know. She's probably talking about a crash that she's going through in well, her life. Been a lightning crash. I mean, it could have been any type of crash. You know, but um, I'm thinking about a car crash. Right. You instantly went to a car <laughs> crash. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, you're the same one that eats off people's <laughs> plates. Bitch, I'm going to leave that. Oh, you know what? But I'm not going to do that during her segment. You know, Michelle. So, yeah. You can get the book. Yeah. You can get the book at Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Goodreads. I mean, you can get this from anywhere where good books are being sold. Go to your favorite bookstore and pick up a copy of Checking In. And make sure you all use the hashtag Checking In. And tag Michelle that you purchase her book. Um, I'm not sure if there's an audio book, but I'm sure she's probably spent some hours in the studio recording an audio book. I mean, everybody has an audio book. So um, make sure y'all um, get that. And then I'm going to have her sign this book whenever we see her. You know, I'm going to take it to the next show. I'm thinking Destiny's Child. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Or whenever she's just in Philly. But again, checking in is here. And believe, I believe this was her. Um, her own line. I don't know. I don't. I bet, but I love this. The scent of this is lavender bergamot. It smells really good, and I don't know if I'm gonna like that candle. I'm, I should save it because there was one time I went to the Janet concert and they came with this candle that smelled so good. And I wish I never burned it. But yeah. So that's the. We didn't get to nothing else on this list. We, we got the about the, the We, we talked about. The Oh, because oh, this is my thing. Okay, <clears throat> so on The View, um, so they were talking about, well, why haven't they, why haven't they tried to, like, why haven't the Republican Party said anything about Marjorie Taylor Greene comparing <coughs> Nazis and the Jews to wearing a mask? And Which was a stupid. Yeah, she just comes up with anything Harrison. to say. That was so stupid to say. That was beyond stupid. When she said that, I couldn't believe that. Yeah. First of all, mm -hmm. first of all, when the Nazis were were at one point making Jews wear the Star of David around their neck, they were making them so they could identify them a little bit better as to who was Jewish and who mm -hmm. wasn't Jewish. Mm -hmm. Okay, referring to that and wearing a mask that has nothing to do with anything. Okay, you wearing a mask is you wearing a mask because you want to be protected from COVID or you want to protect other people from getting COVID. That has nothing to do with identifying. That doesn't even have anything to do with identifying who took the vaccine and who, did, did, who didn't take the vaccine. Mm -hmm. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. So when she said that, <laughs> mm -hmm. I instantly got an attitude. Because mm -hmm. I was just like, is this bitch for real? 
Is she for real? She says anything. She says anything. To and, and to stick. be honest with you, Kevin, the crazy thing is they were saying this a while back, and it's so true. She is only in Congress to 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 be a shock to be a shock. Oh, uh, 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 what do you call it? Shock bot or whatever. The shock it. job. Shock job. She's not there setting any type of laws or anything like that. She's not writing any bills or anything like that. She's there to be a shock job. That's all. That's the only reason why she's there. And her constituents, the ones who put her there, they're loving it. They don't even realize that they put a dummy in office to represent them. So that means that I, somebody can, I can start running for Congress. They vote me in there and I just say what the hell I want to say. Like, what the hell is going on? And she's getting paid to do this. <laughs> so the says, yeah, but... We didn't say anything when the Democrats didn't do this and didn't do that. That's not what the question was about, and that's not how you should have answered that question. And it's just like all the all the that's why I missed them at the. Sh that's why I missed them on the view when they're at the table. Yeah, I think if they're all vaccinated, they need to get their ass back to the table. table. Right. Get back to the. Get back to the table. Y'all need no audience. Get back to the, 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 the damn table. table. Yep. Yeah. Get to the table. Talk the shit, get a table that's big. Like <coughs> they did. Yeah, or the remember, talk, you see, the talk, they sit in the same studio. Before they went off, they did have a huge table. They mm -hmm. had brought in a huge table <laughs> for them to sit around. And then yeah. after that, they need to bring them back. They, they need do. to bring them back. They and do. if you want to go to the talk show, you need to be vaccinated. Point blank, period. They do. They need to bring them back. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I just feel like, Megan, this is not about, oh, well, what about when this happened and they didn't do this? Like, no. Like, you made it all about, oh, well, the, Dem the Democrats, first of all, the Democrats, to me, they don't really have the backbone like the Republican has. No, they don't. Like, everybody, oh, well, let's be bipartisan. Fuck that bipartisan shit. You see all them laws they put out to stop people from voting, black people from voting? Uh -huh. It wasn't about being a Democrat. This is about stopping black people and souls to the polls and people in them long lines. First of all, nobody should have to wait that long to get in line to vote. Uh -huh. Voting should be just like that. I tell you, when I go to vote in North Philly, voting only takes less than two minutes. Why should it take hours upon hours and, you know, people that probably, you know, got to be sitting out there all fucking day. But then that also the has like, to do with the polling a lot of people places don't vote in, in that area. Though. Yeah, but they need to have more polling places for people and them getting rid of the... Because um, when Nina went the other day, at six something at night, she was only number forty four. Mm -hmm. So and that, that particular area really there's not a lot of people voting. Yeah, so it's, that's it's, why it's like nobody. That. And, 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 you, and when you really think about it, nobody probably didn't want to vote for the district attorney anyway. Because I mean, you got people saying that he's crooked, and then you got somebody else who's running against him, Carlos Vega. They said that he was crooked, right. and I didn't even take my ass to North Philly to go vote. I just didn't. Now I know I shouldn't have said that, but I really didn't. I didn't go. I didn't know. But, you know what's so scary is that you get a lot of politicians that do a lot of dirty work. And I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent. It's a lot of them out there that be doing dirty stuff and then get caught up in all of these scandals. When all you got to do is just do your job. Just do what the people elected you to do. You ain't got to be crooked and underhand. I think it's quick and underhanded what our mayor is doing when it comes to these murders. He ain't mad enough. I miss Michael Letterman. He would get on TV and he would make these promises about keeping our death rate low. And I think one year he kept it under 300. And bitch, we already had 200. He yeah. did what he had to do. People ain't like them curfews. People ain't like them cops being on every corner. But he did what he had to do. Mm -hmm. And... Somebody has to step up. If, if people don't want to tell, somebody has to step up. Now, our commissioner, our female commissioner, she's been in this role for over a year now. And I need to know the changes she's making because it's not whatever she's doing or whatever she's being told to do, this shit is not working. Uh -huh. Too that many lives are being lost here. And it's ridiculous. Like, is it because people are not working? Is it because... People don't, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is. I can. Part of the problem is these young guys don't have or programs. They, school, they yeah. don't have programs. We were just talking about this the other day. They don't have programs. There's no trade programs for these guys. You know, when we were coming up, there were all types of programs for us to go to. Job there were after school corps. programs. Mm -hmm. There were job corps. There were there was stuff to keep us busy. 
these young guys have absolutely nothing to keep them busy or excited or motivated. So what do they do? They they venture out to the streets and they're selling drugs all day and then and beefing with each other over the same drugs that everybody's selling on each corner. It's it's unbelievable. You know how many you know these young guys are so are not using their brains. You know how many electricians we'll need in the future? How many plumbers we're gonna need? How you know there's so if you don't want to go to school, go to a trade school. Mm-hmm. Learn something so then you can be making money the legit way. They want to be on a corner all day beefing with each other over the drugs and over a corner that's, first of all, a corner that's owned by housing authority. That's one. And then they, <laughs> then, okay, then they're beefing over drugs that all of them are selling. Mm-hmm. Okay? You're not selling nothing different from the man standing two feet from you. Nothing at all. It just doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. What do you look at? Oh, because she got $10,000. Oh. No, it's a bankrupt sign. I'm sorry. <laughs> it makes no sense at all. Mm. Like, they need more programs for these young guys. They need more programs for these guys so that they can get involved, get active. Okay? If these guys were going to work and having a trade, then they wouldn't be out in these corners all damn day shooting up each other and having a beef with somebody over unnecessary stupid stuff. Stupid stuff. This guy on Instagram. I'm going to make the story real fast. This guy was selling weed. Or, that I follow on Instagram. Somebody came to buy weed from him. And, sh- and, and, and ran off without paying him $60. Mm. So then the guy posted all on Instagram. Posted the guy's other Instagram. Like, yeah, he ran off on me when I catch him. This, that, and the third. Whatever the case may be. You know. Putting the guy on blast for robbing him. For weed. So, of course, the guy gets wind of it. So then I guess his mother, this young guys. So I guess the boy who ran off, his mother ends up sending the guy $60 on Cash App. So the guy posts the Cash App like, you know, thank you to your mom for sending me the $60. But I'm still going to whoop your ass when I see you for running off on me, for robbing me. Because it ain't sweet. So then the other guy, he's now on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Because that, that, if you want blood, we can get, mind you, all over $60. I could not. Where was this posted, Miguel? On Instagram. One of the guys I follow. The yeah. guy who sold the weed, I follow him. <laughs> and you know me. I, he tagged the guy who ran off on him, and the guy's page wasn't him. private. <laughs> she should so, have. <laughs> so, so when he went to. So I went to the guy's page, and for the past few days, it's been going back and forth. So I've been being newsy, watching it. Mm-hmm. Then when the guy said, oh, yeah, because this is, it ain't about nothing. We can shed blood. And I'm like, what? <laughs> now i got to stop looking at this. Because you talking about shedding blood over $60? That's what I'm saying. These guys have nothing better to do. They have nothing better yeah. to do. <laughs> not, and this is all, time. mind you, they're doing all this on Instagram. <laughs> like, what the fuck? But them Instagram beats be leading to people getting killed and shot right, and everything. Right. All you post your location, you tag yourself. Dollars. I could not believe it. Mm, mm, mm. That is. I couldn't make this up even if I wanted to. I could not. But that's a lot. It. But how much weed is there to run off with? Isn't that a lot? Well, I don't know, Kevin, because I don't smoke weed. So I don't know. But these guys are paying that money, which is confusing to me. Because you're paying $60 for weed, but you don't want to pay $10 a month for life insurance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> which is really crazy. And remember, you got a lot of people who are smoking weed. Daily. <laughs> you know what? That'd be a good Daily. to be an insurance agent and walk up in the neighbors like, you have life insurance. Have you thought about it? You know how much money you can make going to a, a neighborhood, mm. black neighborhood, and offering life it's insurance? It's unfucking believable. I, c- I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe what I was reading and what I was watching. What do you think about J-Lo and Ben Affleck? I don't think anything pictures? about them. I, I haven't you even know, seen the pictures. They, I don't they, think they, they, about them. they look like they're reuniting or rekindling. They're both Probably bored. Yeah. They're both bored. Brashear Gray is going to jail for ten days. <laughs> he pleaded guilty. He pleaded guilty. So he's going to jail. Going to jail for ten days. Three years of probation. He has to pay restitution to his um, wife. I don't know if he's still married to her. He also during his three years of probation can't have no firearm, no tasers, and um, if he wants to be friends with anyone who has been. <sighs> Felon, he has to get approval from the police department. 
Go serve the rights, because you shouldn't be out here hitting people. Yeah. Especially I your mean, wife. You shouldn't be out here hitting your wife. I hope that he really turns his yeah. life around. I hope this he does, too. This is that I would really love for him to turn this stuff around, because this stuff, or whatever he's been doing, I hope he gets the help that he This is needs. why we're not seeing him and stuff. Yeah. We're not seeing him and stuff he's anymore. Not ugly. Yeah, he was nice his life is because he's, he's not he's 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 not living right. You know, some people cannot handle fame. They just can't. They get fame, they get a little bit of money, and then they start doing and acting crazy and doing stupid stuff. You are now in a position that you are bettering yourself, you're bettering your family, and here you are beating on your wife. Mm -hmm. And you think that's not gonna be in the news? When you were just a part of one of the biggest shows on television, you think that that's not going to be in the news? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now look at him. Yeah. Nobody's not going to really want to work with him like that. No, I mean, but I hope that if he if he really turns his life around. Yeah, yeah, three years from now. But yeah. then who's going to be looking for him three years from now? I mean, you just you just never. Know. I you, mean, he could get in. I mean. Cause you Lee know, remember really how? For him. Yeah, but you remember how? <laughs> I got, I got to turn that TV. You remember how we all thought that Chris Brown life would be over right. and stuff, mm -hmm. but he's changed. I mean, right. but somewhere. Chris Brown was a little bit different than Brashear Gray. Right. Even still, he nobody's didn't have not a saying of it. right. And even still, yeah, because Brashear Gray has a history of it, and we're not nobody. Even before he got into trouble, nobody was really screaming about Sherry Grace. No, no. I mean, <laughs> what they said. I can't. His name it wasn't even the greatest. But, but mind you, right? Yeah, it's great. Nobody was even saying his real name. Hakeem or Gav. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's really saying his name. Yeah, well, hopefully he can turn it around. Um, Did you see his mugshot? Yes, but then um, I want to know what was on his face. Oh no, you're not. I'm not about on his face. He looks like a, a homeless guy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. But look at his eye. Ooh, look at that girl. No, it's um, somebody's door. Because <laughs> the picture I said, look at her. She, you know what? Yeah, that picture. Where, what's on his eye? Not oh, look at his eyebrow. Look Over there, it looks like dirt. A lot of got right. dirt on his face. Like, come on. But it looks like they just grabbed him out of off off somebody's alleyway, digging in the dumpster. This is not even the same person. No. <laughs> Maybe he got a, a person, not a personality disorder. He, he might have. Disorder. Oh, he might have. He might. He might. Yeah. You know, a lot of yeah. nice looking people are like that. Crazy in the head. They said the same thing about me. <laughs> you nice looking? <laughs> I ain't <laughs> Right now, <laughs> so A Rod got his little makeup thing for men. It's called Blur Stick. Um, I don't know how much of a makeup thing it is, but he wants to. And have a lot of these that, guys need it too. Yeah, to you know, cover blushes <clears throat> and cover. Um, oh, I think I'm getting it right now. Um, what you call that? Hair bumps and stuff like that in your face, just to make you feel more confident. Now, I don't know what colors and all of that stuff he has. But that's what he'll be doing. And, you know, people may be saying that, oh, men and makeup. And men do wear makeup. Some men wear the eyeshadow. Like, that's something that I, um, what, like, the eyeliner stuff. Like, I really like that stuff for, I think that we look good in it. Especially, like, with brown skin and you have that. Eyeliner. Uh huh. I think we look so well, you wear good. Wear eyeliner that. recently. I wore recently. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy asked me, and I said I didn't know what he was talking about. He said, "Yeah, because I saw something with Kevin, and he was like, is he wearing makeup now?'" And I said, "No. Why would you ask me that?" He said, "Because I just seen something with him with eyeliner, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about." Yeah, I love it. Now that's just, just as far as I'm going to get. Ain't gonna be no makeup. Ain't gonna be none of the other stuff, but like contacts and all. I played with contacts when I was like 18. Contacts is not a thing. And then when you can learn if you don't use your eye and all that, I'm not playing with nobody's contacts. Especially them contacts you just buy off the corner store. Oh, hell to the no. <laughs> no. But I love Remember them. Remember when people were putting them hazel and stuff, contacts when we was in I school? I was one of them. Yes, I was. I love the gray. Yep. Gray eyes. Look so you good. eating off other people's plates. <laughs> you were using <laughs> gray contacts. What the fuck? G great content. I mean, listen, let me tell you something. Being brown skinned, you have to use your advantages because 
So many colors look good. We can get away with a lot of shit. First of all, your yeah. eyes are brown. Yeah. But so I can't imagine you with gray eyes. Just, just, um, somebody get the, um, <laughs> pull it up. First of all, you can barely see my eyes. Second of all, mm. you know, mm. it's all right. I, I, I did those things. As, as, as a young child, you, you, someone exploring, you do a lot of things. Mm. That's one of them. But mm. this makeup thing, I don't know if I'm down for that, but um, I think that men need to learn how to explore things without thinking that, oh, it's a feminine thing. And you know what, bitch? I was about to marry to medicine, and um, Eugene was talking about something. He was talking to the man, like, yeah, I did stuff with my wife. He said, I did stuff with my wife that I've never done with anybody before. She ate his butt. And yeah, that's usually that's what all he is. had to say. Right. That's all he had to say. Because that's usually what it is. She either ate his butt or she pegged him. She did something. She did something with his butt. Yeah. Because when guys allow their 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 women to explore on them, it's usually with their butts. <laughs> yeah, but I think a lot of men get into it now. But they're not they they're not going to have these not gonna be open, conversations yeah. about it. Your boo uh, around the way had openly said that he had let somebody eat his butt. I know. Remember I told you. Mm -hmm. And he said it right there, standing on the corner. Mm. And you know what's so crazy? Because a lot, because a few people who were standing around when he said it was laughing and trying to clown him for saying mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I wish but I then one of them was standing there, I ate their butts. <laughs> and I couldn't believe <laughs> When do I get stuck? <laughs> and I could not believe that I was standing there watching them laugh. <laughs> but that's what they do. And this the one I did you, not want to make eye contact with Is him. this the one no, you're talking about? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes. Not the one who said it. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 You know what? <coughs> <laughs> Somebody just texted me. Uh, yeah. A mess. Yeah. Yeah. We'll save this one for the podcast. Because the man... I want to know more about this story. The man in Illinois... First of all, they pulled him out for a traffic that was horrible. stop. That was horrible. He told y'all he had weed, but that he said you can inspect the car. He didn't say inspect everything that's in there. Pull those ashes out. Come on, we tested it, and you got um. He had some. They said he had some other type of drugs. I can't remember the name. <clears throat> and then it's come to find out it was his daughter's ashes. Can you believe that? I hope he gets everything he asks for when he sues. I hope he does too. I hope he does too. Yeah. I hope he does too. Yeah. Yeah, Just like know, that mother whose son. What is it? Uh, Green, I think it's his last name. Last year, the cops killed her son and then lied. Yeah, and he oh, ran into that tree. Mikkel. And then the video came out. Mikkel. Isn't that horrible? That video. Isn't that horrible? That's one of the worst that videos I've ever watched. One of the worst watched. videos. Yes, it is. And, yes, it is. And, and Rachel Maddow. That's had up that video. there with George Floyd. It really is. It's worse than yep. George Floyd. It's up there with him. It's. And the worse. way they talked about. And then. The way that they had the audio oh. of the one cop talking to the other cop about, oh, yeah, because I punched that motherfucker and I got blood on me. And I'm like, oh, my mm. God. Is this 1970 or 2021? I'm getting, I'm getting goosebumps. That shit made me mad. And lied and told that woman that her son died and from his car heart crashed. hitting a tree. <laughs> yep. And then they had pictures of the car and there was nothing wrong with the car. And you know, Rachel Maddow broke that story down. This is before CNN even got the video. She That's bitch. horrible. And then like the mother said, they had the mother, I felt so bad for her. The doctor said it didn't add up. The mother said, then they showed, then see, and then, I think it was, was it, it was Anderson Cooper. They showed his autopsy picture. They didn't even blur his face out. Ooh. They showed him from his head up. Yeah, she said she wasn't going to do that, but he had They did. He looked regular in the face. His head, the indentations of the blunt forces in his head. And you can tell that. He was hit. He was beat. I was shocked when Anderson Cooper showed that. Because usually when they show a dead body, they'll blow the face out. They blow his face out. Fair and I, I, I guess they didn't blow his face out. Because Kevin, he looked like he was slim. But you know what? And he looked good other than the fact that his face, his head was all... Like somebody was beating on him. It's not enough outrage it's about not. what happened it's to not. him. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It was horrible. And the mother, I felt so bad for her. Because... Like she said, she said, we even drove down the very road that they said it happened. And she said, we didn't see no type of debris or nothing to indicate that there was a car crash. And then when the video came out, now mind you, the video somebody that they're showing now, the somebody leaked the video. The video that they're showing now is not what she saw last year. She said, I don't even want to watch 
this new video because I'm still having nightmares from the video that they showed me last year. But like she said, had this video not been leaked, I would have never known about this. And they're only talking about it. The police department is only talking about outrage now because of the fact that the video was leaked. That the video was leaked. Everybody who was a part of that, even the person who was in charge, the captain or whoever, they all should be fired. Yeah. And you know what? And even though that cop got fired and he died, who? Um, one of the cops that got fired for that video, because they, they know they knew about the video. Right, right. So they fired him, and later that day, he died in a car accident. The cop. Uh, yeah. Mm. Now, this is my thing. If his family gets any type of pension, I hope that they stop it mm -hmm. for what he did to that man. I hope they don't get shit. Like, to sit there, to watch that, to hear the video, for them to tase him and beat him. Mm -hmm. And he was cooperating and with he them. was cooperating with him. And then he was saying something about, he was calling the cop brother, like, brother, you don't have to do something like he was saying or something like that. And they were, oh, it was horrible. It's a horrible video. It's a horrible, horrible. And the mother kept saying, anybody who knows my son knows that he's the opposite of what they painted him to be. Like, he's a, he's not that at all. It's a, it's a shame. It's really a shame. I couldn't believe that when I was watching that. I was watching that and I was like, wait. And then when they showed his his autopsy picture and I'm just like, yo, like, he wasn't killed in no fucking car crash. They beat mm -hmm. this man. The car barely had anything wrong with it. Car Kevin, first of all, the front of the car was not touched at all. <laughs> okay? It was the... The back part of the driver's side and then the back door on the driver's side that was dented in. But it was dented in because, like she said, from the cops trying to ram mm -hmm. him. Let me see if this black boy get this. That's his gophers and the pasture. He got it. He got it in the backyard. He got it. I thought that was a woman. Child. He won a car. Well, what kind of car did he want? Escape hybrid. Oh. Mm. oh, that's a nice car. I can picture you driving something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. They need to get these hybrids out too because you need more electric cars on the road. Mm -hmm. They're just so expensive. Yeah. So we're we, we going to get up out of here. That's the we're drink, man. Um, but we'll be back this Friday with a new podcast. Hope you guys listen to the podcast from this past weekend. It's always fun recording these podcasts. Um, we'll, we'll be back with a podcast on Friday, but we will not be working on Memorial Day. I'm going to be either working or at somebody's somewhere. But we'll see you all next Tuesday with a brand new video. So you guys be safe. Um, I guess if you're not vaccinated, if you haven't been vaccinated, you know you're not vaccinated, wear your mask. Don't do nothing stupid like, oh, I don't need my mask and then contract COVID. I don't know if y'all seen the video of the lady that was on um, ABC, but she said she wasn't going to get the vaccine. She caught COVID. And the way she's attached to those um, oxygen tubes, she was crying and then saying that she wished she had got the vaccine when it was available to her. You know, don't be like her. Because a lot of them are like her. Yeah. And yep. then they be out here talking shit. Not a lot of y'all, but a lot of people are like her who out, come out here talking shit. And yeah. And now if you ain't going to get the vaccine, then that's on you. But wear masks. Mm -hmm. Wear masks. Protect yourself and your, and your system. Because it, it hits everybody different. Just because you're young don't mean you're going to... It's nothing that's going to I remember the early you. days of COVID. Remember we we was like, oh, it's not going to get black people. And then that first basketball player got it. We said not no black people, no young people. And <laughs> like then they got that basketball too. player. He was black and young. We was like, wait a minute. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the time, it was all we white really people. Thought that we really we thought it was, wasn't going to gonna hit black. Yep. And then come to find out, we the ones that's been dying the most. Mm -hmm. okay. And something that they were talking about on Married to Medicine is that they still learn it. Like they was like we shouldn't have put the people on the ventilators because they can't they can't get them off of the ventilators. Yeah, because um, of their breathing. Because mm -hmm. once your they're body on it, becomes dependent on right. It. Once you become so, when your body is on, it's just like even with these medicines. A lot of people don't like taking some medicines because they don't want to get mm -hmm. 
you know, hooked on them. I'm one of those people. I will take something for so long, but then I'm like, no, I ain't taking that no more because I don't want to find myself keep popping it, keep popping it, keep popping it. You sound like you Yeah. Cause my, remember when she... I still got a full box of Benadryl in my car because I'm like, listen, first of all, I don't feel like it's doing anything but putting me the fuck to sleep. And I don't want to be sleep all day. So, no, I'm not... I, I, I just don't believe in just keep taking medicines like that because then you'll find yourself hooked on it and then you'll be trying to get the fuck off of it and you're like, well, hey, I need this to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. One time she came home with them oxygen chains and she just was like, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not going to take it because I don't want to get addicted to that. I don't want to feel like I need to have that mm-hmm. everywhere I go. Now, this is way before she... Um, Even though she did need it, though. Yeah, she needed She knew she needed it. But she didn't want to become dependent she on She didn't want to become dependent on her. Mm-hmm. It's, it's tough. You know, once you're in a state of mind, it's tough. You know, but I've, from what I've seen, like I told, I know I used to tell her, like, once I, once I get close to your age, because I don't plan on going nowhere, like, I want to do things a whole lot differently than what mm-hmm. you did. You know, but I can still remember a lot of lessons she taught me, but a lot of stuff in the end or close to the end I mean, like those are things that I hope I would never do and I, I think if she watched herself or if you told her this is what you will become I think she probably would have treated things a whole lot differently uh, too oh yeah for sure cause that person was not that's not who I remember her as I need to put my TV on um, my wrestling. but yeah so we gotta go but um, yeah, we're gonna go, everybody. Y'all stay safe. Don't eat off everybody's plate at the barbecue, okay? I mean, only I can do things like that. <laughs> I can't believe it. And y'all stay safe. We're out. We'll see y'all this weekend with a podcast. I can't believe it. <laughs>